China, one of the most biodiverse countries in the world. Countless species are here on this magnificent landscape. Every one of them tells a great story. It was. Huh? I was. I was worried we would get stuck at some point. I have to say, I don't think I have been as remote as this. Well, um, this is already on the border. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It is the first time for both of us to visit Dehong. We head deeper into the rainforest to explore its incredible circle of life. Dehong, sitting on the extreme southwestern edge of China, unaffected by the last ice age, it is one of the most biodiverse places in this country. The subtropical rainforests here provide enough space and food for wild animals to thrive, allowing even the tiniest species to flourish. The footage of Zhang Shanghe bears witness to everything. Fayer's leaf monkey is also known as Fayer's langur. Listed as one of the world's endangered species, they are under first-class state protection in China. Zheng Shanghe is the one who discovered their largest group. Wow! Okay. In Dehong, there are many ethnic minorities. It is said that the Jingpo first lived on the Tibetan plateau, and later they followed the Hornbill's migratory route all the way to Dehong. No wonder Hornbills are everywhere. My Jingpo friends invited Biati and me to join their dance team. It is well known as Hunnao Zhongge. It means dancing together in the Jingpo language. In mythology, the hornbill learned the movements from the sun god. We had an unforgettable evening mimicking the steps of hornbills. Look up here also. It's a bit uh, yeah. steep, a bit, but uh, yeah. The next morning, we are heading to see the real creatures. The weather plays a trick on us. Dehong enters the rainy season in June. It is not the best time for bird watching. But surprisingly, we meet avid bird watchers. Ban Dingying 
is one of them. This is. 对，它的巢啊，然后现在是小鸟在里面。That is the home of the great hornbill. Inside now is the baby hornbill. Huh? So the mother might be also inside, but the father fly away earlier and will bring back food. That's how it works. Now we need patience. 得耐心。对，得耐心的等。耐心。好，我们有耐心。对对，一定能看得到。It's so beautiful, no? No, so beautiful. I think it's rare to have them both. He's saying it's so rare that the two of them will be together. 你看，像这个犀鸟，最大一个特征是它有眼睫毛，看到没有？睫毛特别的长。Look at that, eyelashes. Longer than mine. No, 整个的这种很有意思。哇，你这镜头很好。嗯。还可以再放大一点。对，看这个手机的镜头特别好。是。哇哈，好多了。哎呀，您这有这么多好照片。呃，拍鸟大概。七年到八年的时间了，嗯、oh. 呃，在这个过程当中呢，有很多的惊喜。今天看到的是，应该说最大的一种犀鸟，嗯、oh. 呃，也是最漂亮的。嗯、oh.。When the birds are no longer afraid of the camera, it means that biodiversity conservation efforts are paying off. But it's not enough to simply increase the population size of species. To protect the biodiversity. Humans should have a better understanding of the species and the ecosystems which they depend on for their survival. This is the well-preserved westernmost tropical rainforest in China. This is the only one in the Yellowstone National Park in the Yellowstone National Park. 我们保护区中，从最低海拔两百一十米，一直到最高的三千四百零四点四米。最低海拔有鲫鱼林，一直到长绿阔叶林，到高山的草甸啊，都有。所以它植被类型就很很丰富，物种就相当丰富。大的树，太棒了！这叫龙脑山。这是我们保护区的主要的保护对象之一。它，你你估计它什么几岁呢？至少一百年以上了，一百五十年以上了。对，很精致哈，那么大，哇！哇，壮观！你看，我一个人保它，保不上，太棒了。Shoria robusta is an iconic species of the tropical rainforest. It is a rare, crucial plant under second-class state protection in China. Many other rare wild plants are also found in this reserve. Over the past years, Gong Changbang and his colleagues have taken photographs of endangered plants around the reserve. We are coming to the end of the expedition in Yunnan's biodiversity hotspots. To be honest, both of us, Biate and I, don't want to leave the home. Biate. Thank you so much for joining us. All I want to say is, what a trip. So my favorite, I think, is the hornbills that we saw and the male and female uh, nurturing their young and feeding, right, and flying back and forth and uh, this whole song and dance that they did around the tree communicating. So that was really beautiful to see. But I think it's a memorable trip in the sense that, of course, Yunnan, is so well known for its uh, biodiversity, right? Well, I think that's exactly right. And I think this has uh, changed in China quite a bit 
over the years. And that China has invested a lot of policies and uh, also financial resources into the protection of uh, nature. You can see that at the macro level where China has uh, introduced the ecological red line policy that is uh, looking at how China can protect uh, uh, valuable ecosystems better um, and uh, ensure that they can function both as ecosystems but also for people. China currently has 18% of its land mass under some type of a protection status. The goal is 30% by 2030, according to the new global biodiversity. I think we urgently need coordination, cooperation, confidence about our common future. Uh, tell us more about your thoughts. We're losing 200 species a day. That's a rate faster than any time in history. We're losing 10 million hectares of forest a year. That's the size of South Korea. And the projections show that we will have one-fifth of country seeing collapse of their ecosystems. So it's really alarming. I think the, the Kunming uh, Montreal declaration right, of the uh, COP15, uh, which uh, is now our new global biodiversity framework, um, goes to show. Because I think going into the second legs, the, the hopes were quite muted. And still we managed, and China presided over the negotiations successfully, managed to come up as a global inter uh, community uh, with a framework. Uh, that framework has 23 targets, so it's monitorable, right, by 2030 to be achieved. Um, there were 60 resolutions on biodiversity uh, that were agreed. I think it does show the, the potential. And uh, going now then into also the next uh, climate COP, let's hope that we can continue on this upward momentum because we, as humankind, we need these commitments and we need the commitments and, and the action and yeah. there is absolutely no time to lose. That is so important to make everybody aware of and also to make sure that they feel they're interconnected with everything around us. As a person that I have that opportunity to make whatever small uh, contribution it may be mm. to making sure that the world turns the page and that we protect this beautiful planet that we live on. There's only one in the galaxy. Birds, trees, flowers and monkeys. Together they breathe life into this incredible and irreplaceable biodiversity. Humans have only one choice which is to create a modern society in harmony with nature. We are still on the way.